My name is Jason Steele. I am the co-founder and CEO of Industrialized Construction Solutions. ICS engineers, designs, manufactures, and delivers prefabricated buildings across the United States. We specialize in multi-site deliveries. So if we're delivering multiple buildings on multiple sites across the United States, our ability to optimize those buildings at every single delivery and make every delivery better and built faster and built at a less cost is what brings clients back to ICS. Cold form steel became part of our core competencies through a process of continuous optimization and continuous improvement. The largest benefit that we find is that it's dimensionally stable. It's not a live product, so it's not gonna rot, it's not gonna mold, and CFS is an optimized material over wood and other materials that we can use in the process. My name is Crystal Howe, and I am a co-founder of ICS, and I'm the VP of Prefabrication and Construction here. I manage our decentralized vendor network, along with our install partners and general contractors for the products that we deliver. ICS is not actually a manufacturer. We partner with a robust decentralized manufacturing network. A large contributor to that network is the FrameCAD manufacturers. We have found that their sophistication level, their facilities, their processes and procedures bode very well with the uh, designs. Our design-led engineering takes into account the challenges of on-site conditions and that is part of the design process in-house in at ICS. Um, not only is it designed for manufacturing and assembly in the manufacturing facility, but it is also designed for a, a seamless install in the field. My name is Matthew Comber. I am COO and co-founder at ICS. I oversee all of the design and engineering related to the delivery of our prefabricated light gauge panel building systems. ICS has been around for 17 years. Originally, we were working on primarily panelized wood prefabricated buildings. We were introduced to FrameCAD and started exploring the applicability of LGS to our design and engineering and delivery approach. You know, really, when we get down to it, we're looking to solve for a shrinking labor force. We're looking to solve for complicated supply chains that ultimately lead to delays and drive costs up on the construction site. Uh, if you think about light gauge in comparison to wood, the, the tolerance, the manufacturing level of tolerance involved in light gauge construction allows us to get very precise in how we pre-assemble the components of the building to ensure that they go together quickly and seamlessly when they get to site. Rather than say a wood system where we used to have a lot of issues with wood, you know, just the, the, the live aspect of that material, it, it warps, it twi twists, it swells, it shrinks, it molds. And, and those are challenges that we were always having to solve for. Well, light gauge, it lets us really get into solving the problems we want to be solving for in delivering faster systems without having to solve for all, all these other issues around the, you know, the, the dimensional instability of the wood system. I personally believe the industry is heading to a more off-site delivery method um, versus the traditional build. The um, limited skilled labor pool that is ever dwindling is going to still be an issue in 5, 10, 20, 30 years. Um, it's not getting better, so there have to be advances in technology, um, implementation, and construction overall. A well-vetted design is critical in what we do. Integrating multi-trades into the Revit model that gets generated to the FrameCAD production file makes our job much easier. It makes our builds more efficient. It makes the quality of our product superior to what our general contractors traditionally see arriving to site. The FrameCAD network is critical to the success of ICS. Having similar machines, having the same capacities and the same core competencies at multiple manufacturers across the United States allows us to deliver a standard product uh, with constant quality through multiple vendors across the U.S. Speed has multiple impacts on our process. Let's start with our retail clients that do multi-site. Uh, they want to get their buildings open and selling product out of their store. The faster we get them open, the faster they're selling product and making revenues. I think FrameCAD is a leader in, in technology in the construction industry. 
The ability to speak a model directly into a roll former machine that will print our raw materials specifically for their intended use um, is, is really an industry changer. Seamless integration from Revit through to the FrameCAD software we feel is a critical piece in ensuring that when the finished product arrives to site and is assembled, it's properly in, it coordinated to a high level of detail with all of the remaining trades that are yet to be installed on site, as well as adjacent structural elements that may not be prefabricated through a FrameCAD uh, process. But it also ensures that there is no human error involved in the traditional process of manually handing information back and forth. That missing communication and those errors are generally picked up in the field where it's going to add to the construction timeline and construction costs. The ability to make that information transfer via direct data transfer out of Revit into FrameCAD eliminates all of that risk of human error in the information handoff process. We work in an industry uh, that is inherently resistant to change and slow to evolve. I'm really glad to see leaders and work with leaders like FrameCAD in really pushing the envelope in driving more efficiency and technology into our processes. It is by far and above the uh, best solution we have at our disposal to solving some of the macroeconomic challenges that are plaguing our industry right now.